Hi guys, it's Nabila. Today I'm going to show you my favorite book on Spencerian, which is the new Spencerian Compendium. Whether you're just starting out learning Spencerian, or maybe you've never even done it before, or you're kind of skilled but you're looking uh, to learn new letter forms and new techniques, this book really has something for people at every skill level, so I'm going to show you the parts of it that I love, as well as advice on how to use it. And it's also digitized and freely available online, so I'll include the download link in the description box below. The first part of the book is structured at a complete beginner dispensarian and has 18 lessons. Each of these has some text explaining the concepts or the principles, as well as a copy plate which includes the exercises that you can follow along with. If you're just starting out in Spencerian, these are really excellent lessons and I recommend you try following through them. There is a very heavy focus in the book on a specific writing grip and holding your pen in the way specified. It does assume you're right-handed, for example, and doesn't allow for any variation in that. I don't hold my pen in the way specified in the book, and I would encourage you to try it and see if that's something you want to train your hand for. If not, please don't be discouraged about using the rest of the book. The sections on movement are just as important for everybody. This page for me is the key to Spencerian. It lists the seven basic strokes on the top, and for each letter it shows you which of those strokes make up that letter. It's still a reference that I use daily to check my form, and I love these magic schools. They're simple enough, and yet incredibly elegant. This page as well that shows the X height as it relates to ascenders and descenders, as well as the line height, is what I use always when I'm writing Spencerian. And on the topic of capitals, really the part of the book that I love the most is the six pages in the middle that have the most beautiful Spencerian Magiskules I know of. If you've seen my letter a day challenge on Instagram, a lot of the Magiskules there were from the new Spencerian Compendium. There's quite a number of alphabets sprinkled throughout the book and one of my favorites is something I don't see that often, it's the Spencer Brothers abbreviated hand. For me, this is an exercise in minimalism and it is stunning. It's kind of how can we suggest the letter with the least number of strokes possible. It emits the entry and the exit strokes, leaving this incredibly clean and beautiful alphabet. I think it's beautiful for correspondence or envelopes or anything that needs to have a hint of pragmatism. The second section is in flourishing and there's some drills provided that are quite challenging but also quite fun at the same time. It shows you how to hold the pen, and I do recommend that you do this for offhand flourishing. And then there are step-by-step -step instructions to make two simple bird flourishes. On top of that, there are great exemplars everywhere. Um, there's exemplars of signature writing, exemplars of simple letters and receipts, and also some really fancy flourishes. The last two sections on lettering and pen drawing are not things that I do at the moment, so I haven't really spent much time. So I have a download link for the book in the description below, and if you're new to this stuff, I have a, another video about my favorite supplies, which will be on the screen now. So let me know in the comments below if you have uh, other resources for Spencerian that you absolutely love. And thank you for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumb, and I release new videos about weekly, so please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos on calligraphy and penmanship.